the other container that's not uh, doesn't have a tarp and bubble wrap on it. One twenty-five. All right. So that other one was ninety-nine. You saw it with your own eyes. One thirty. One twenty-seven. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. One twenty-nine. All right, so that's every bit of 30 degrees difference. All right. I'll tell you, people, it's the heat, man. It's the heat. Every day I have to stop around this time. Look how red I am. But you saw this container's 30 degrees difference compared to that one that I had the infrastop on and the uh, tarp pulled over the top. So um, I'm, I'm going to be able to air condition that thing when I'm done. I'm not done insulating yet. That's just step one. This is Steve of Thousand Year Home. So if you want a 60 degree, up to 60 degree reduction in the heat in your uh, Conex, this simple idea will get it done. And I am so happy with it. Now, <clears throat> I, this whole video, you'll watch it through and you'll see that I throw a tarp over the top of this infostop. But I want to point out uh, in another video, uh, 30 days later, that tarp was not adequate. The sun destroyed it. So what you'll need to do is make sure you get a uh, really good tarp, not a cheap Harbor Freight one, a really good tarp or some other alternate method. But um, just from these couple of videos watching the heat and a before and after of what I've accomplished here, I finally uh, licked the heat inside of a Connex at an eighth inch. Eighth inch is all it took away from the uh, exterior of the uh, of the Connex, and you really need to uh, watch this video. And this is a very fine idea. Uh, again, this is Steve at Thousand Years Home, and uh, enjoy the heat reduction in your Connex. All right, I found my thermometer. Let me see if it is getting focus. If you can see that, 88 on the soil, so 88 in the shade. Out there in the sun, let's see, 118 on the soil, 114, 118. Oh. Now the roof used to be 139 when it was 105 out. Oh, let's see, 99, 99, 99. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a 103, 102, but still, I'm going to take that. 102 that's where it's in full sun i mean i am i am noticeably feeling the difference here now i'll put rock wool insulation on the top there and uh you know i might chase these bats with uh rock wool as well and then over the top of it i've got this uh tarp now hurricanes blow in here i'm a couple of hundred miles in off the coast and uh, so I've taken a little bit of a uh, chance on this, but I'm going to leave this. And when I pour the cap over the top of everything, this will be a balcony up here. Uh, and I'll use perlite concrete on the top of it. I'm going to leave the bubble wrap. I'm going to leave the uh, tarp. And I think that will be just fine. It'll separate the uh, coarse steel from the uh, concrete, which is a little corrosive. So this is serving a good purpose. Trying to do one and done, right? So this is my idea. I've never seen anybody do this. So uh, t put down in the comments if you think I'm absolutely crazy. Uh, but uh, I think I'm, I'm doing all right. Let me rotate. So that sun, I got up at six in the morning. I'm gonna blind you with it. It is chasing me and it'll be too reflective and too bright off of this roof real quick. So I started at six in the morning to get ahead of it. Uh, in Texas, I usually get clouds for a while. I uh, use the two infra stops. I put them on the top, I roll them. Then I come back in with the foil tape and I tape that gray tape along the outer edge. I'm clamping all the edges. Uh, you can still see a little bit of uh, uh, wind getting in there. So uh, I'm going to need to stop this video and, and just wrap this thing up. But I'll do, uh, um, let me know down in the comments if you think this will hold together. I need it to hold together uh, until probably the fall when I get all of this uh, concreted in. All right, it's... 1024 going on 11 o'clock that's a time where normally I, this is just too hot so uh, 
I'll let you know the tarp is hot to touch. That's probably 120. I didn't bring up my uh, infrared thermometer. I'll do that in a little bit. But I've already gone inside the container while I was latching down the tarp, and uh, it's noticeably cooler. <laughs> I think this idea will work. So, and if I wear this tarp out, and I know people say, ah, oh, the sun will wear it out, or it's not waterproof. I'm not looking for it to be waterproof. I've got a waterproof roof under it, and I'm going to put concrete over it to suck up that water if it does get on there. So uh, I'll put another tarp right over the top of it, $139. If this guess gets me all summer and I could put concrete over it, that's a good deal too. Let me rotate the camera. All right, so I chased, uh, and this is a 29 by 49 foot trucker's canvas. I've pulled it reasonably taut. Uh, this is uh, not a one-man job. My, my recommendation is don't do as I do. Uh, get some people out to help on this. If I would have had folks on the ground, I wouldn't have had to go down a ladder. And Every time you go up and down a ladder, it's a little risky. But for 29 by 49 foot, so uh, it falls down off the side of the container, keeping that cool, and also it waterproofs my doors. And uh, I might lift it up and even use it as a worker's canopy when I do the, uh, when I do the um, foundation work. So we'll see about all that. All right, so this is Steve, a thousand year home. So the sun is a thousand years and it is winning. <laughs> it is so winning. I'm so hot. Texas just skipped spring, went straight to 100. Uh, I hit uh, the infrared thermometer on the soil. The soil was 135. Anywhere the sun's baking pure soil. So this is hot, people. So, uh, and the very little rain. So if your problem is has heat and not water, I think that this solution is a workable solution. A couple layers of infrared bubble wrap and then a trucker's tarp, reflective trucker's tarp over the top of that. I'll put another tarp over it if it wears out and lash it down just right over the top. I won't even take the old one down. So this is Steve, a thousand year home. So like and subscribe, appreciate you much. Of course, I come up the ladder and the sun goes behind the only cloud. All right, there it is. Now let's see what the road. Okay, so 108. 112. So even this is cooler than that other roof. That was reading 127. So 110. So it's 10 or 12 degrees cooler even on the inside. So this is, I can definitely recommend this thing. This one has a tarp over it, one, one layer of info wrap. That doesn't yet, 30 degree difference ambient across the board. Success. All right, this is an epilogue to the uh, the roof canvas uh, idea that worked really well. Like I said, anywhere between 20 and 40 degree reduction in heat. Um, it felt like I could finally air condition that thing and win. Let me rotate my camera. Okay, so I mentioned, I checked the weather and I only have up to 17 mile an hour wind, so I'm not too worried. Eventually, you know, I'll trim those, I'll cut the canvas in there, but what I did to prevent that is one, I stuck magnets along the edge of it. I uh, brought in my uh, fork truck and uh, it's rested on this, this uh, old water drum and pushed up against it. Now that ought to hold it. In addition, all the corners are bungeed and tied off. Everything underneath is, is fully tied. I don't know if you can see underneath there. Eventually I'll treat that, but <clears throat> you can see that I, I tied everything up and then I, I put tension, tensioning in there so it's tied up in tension. I did the door today, you can't see it, but uh, it's mounted in the wall ready for me to put hinges in it. Uh, this window that was just screwed in, I, I went ahead and finished it. But this 29 foot wrap, uh, it's a trucker's wrap, came down just perfect. And so I tied it all off. Front is the same way, you'll notice. I. Those are uh, uh, probably 100 uh, pound magnets and that's probably 150 pound magnet. I just threw them up there and they stuck. And then I bent things over and I clamped them <clears throat> for now oh, in the uh, gears uh, at the top. So this is my only, only little bit of concern right here. And it is tight. So I don't see that being a problem. And uh, I lashed it all the way down. 
and then I went ahead and set those. Uh, they're not actually load bearing or anything. They're going to be my deck, but I pinned them all against the canvas, so they're pinching the canvas a little bit. So this week I have a wedding to attend, so I won't be able to build. And uh, uh, the week after that, I'm closing, uh, co co closing on another house and moving. I got to be out in less than mm, 30 days now. So I have 30 days to wire that for power. I gener uh, I proven that I can <laughs> wire that for power. And uh, we'll be out here is that little tiny trailer. Uh, and I'll put a tarp over it if I have to live in it. But um, that finally felt with the canvas and the uh, reflective foil like I could air condition that. And I do have an air conditioner that will run on my uh, F-150 generator right there. Power boost is what I have. So I'll wire all of that with pigtails, and uh, I've got four outlets there, so I'll wire that container with four outlets. I can do 7.2 kilowatts, which is a lot of energy. And uh, the guest bedroom I'll wire from an office, and uh, the bathroom I'll wire in with a, uh, at this point, I don't have septic in yet, so I'll do a composting toilet. And then the back bedroom, I'll uh, it's just ceiling fan and air conditioner. and. Um, I've got a portable air conditioner now to push around inside there. Uh, and then these doors, eventually I'll remove the middle pin and I'll put in French doors there. So, man, I am, I am exhausted. These uh, putting in full, I, I get up at 6 and I work until 1 or 2. I come back at 7. I am putting in every bit of uh, 20 to 30, maybe even 40 hours on a weekend, a uh, long weekend. And, uh, it is exhausting so I'm looking forward to being out here where I can do two or three hours after work uh, and I'm running a, my own job you know I'm still working for my employer so uh, you know uh, I'm working two full-time jobs effectively but I have to have this house done so that I can move forward my life I'm not gonna sit and rent uh, forever and this house will be a bulletproof house literally literally uh, earthquake bulletproof fire resistant so and then it's off grid so i have all my solar um, so i can continue to work productively out here and uh, i will slowly grow the the ranch out here in the re, um, uh, restorative agriculture so the this drought did not help me with the restorative agriculture i have i have failed so getting a little long in the tooth but i wanted to show you the last few minutes of the uh of how I, what I did with the canvas because the ends, if the wind gets in there and peels that, man, it'll rip it all the way off and, and I'll be back right down to the ground. So I uh, hope not. So uh, no hurricanes this week. So good news, news for me. Like and subscribe. I've got a lot of other creative things I'm going to be throwing onto these shipping containers. That one will start out as a tiny house and I'll bridge the thing. I, uh, homesteaders, uh, the restorative agriculture, the whole nine yards. There's lots of people that uh, should follow me along. So uh, like and subscribe and follow me along. Thanks much. Bye-bye.